Today we're looking at the Predator XL Minn Kota Motor Console. This gives us 45 pounds of variable speed thrust when out on the water. Pretty excited to take a look, so let's open it up. So the first piece we come across is our battery box. There's the lid. More cardboard. And the base. So, what we've got are our uh, safety tethers. So there are two tethers. One attaches to you, the other attaches to the boat. Hit those backwards. This one's to the boat, this one's to you. You've got your prop and your installation instructions. For the battery box itself, there's the base and then the lid, positive, negative battery terminals. Uh, this outlet plugs into your Predator XL and the wiring for your Predator XL has already been done at the factory. So all you have to do is put a battery in here and plug this in and you're good to go. Then on the box itself is a um, circuit breaker so that if there are any uh, surges, um, this will go first and you won't affect your motor unit. Set that aside for now. Oh, last thing in the box would be the strap. In the rear of the Predator, there is a locking bar. Uh, you'd actually run this strap through it and then around the battery box so that your battery would stay in the boat pending any unforeseen consequences. On the top of the Minn Kota console for the Predator XL, we have our click seal hatch. It gives you access to the interior for storage. Put in Plano tackle boxes, extra reels, or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And in the front of this is a shelf for a uh, battery. And that battery would power your sonar unit. It's good to use a separate power source for your sonar to avoid interference. So we've got the mounting plate on the top for the head unit. And you just wire that right in to your battery, store it right inside. So you have a fully self-contained motor console with all of your uh, sonar and electronics built right in. Which is really great. So if you're going somewhere and you've got everything hooked up, all you have to do is unplug this from your boat, lift out the whole unit, stick that in the cab of your truck or in your car, and you don't have to worry about somebody you know, taking it out of the back of your truck or off your trailer. So everything will be contained right within this unit. On the top here we have um, one of our kill switches. So this would actually take, and you'd be wearing this on your PFD, and then the kill switch locks right in the top here. So if you pull off, then the battery is gonna then the motor is going to shut off. Also one down on the bottom here. So the lower shorter one, uh, this would be about level with the deck of the boat. And if you were to raise the motor unit up without turning it off, that's going to pull off and the motor is going to turn off before that spinning propeller comes up next to you. That's all there is to the basics of this. Now to some of the cool stuff built into the uh, Minn Kota console itself is Minn Kota's digital maximizer technology. So this is going to give you uh, more than a full day of fishing. We've had this out on the water for a few days in a row and still had full half of a battery charge left. So you can actually check your battery charge by hitting test uh, when the unit is in neutral and that will tell you the remaining charge and then forward and reverse. And this is full variable speed, so there are no notches in there other than the neutral position. And you can actually dial that into exactly the speed you are looking for. And reverse, which is great. Internal in the console itself, uh, running off of the battery power uh, from the battery box, is a USB port. So right inside here, and it's got a little plastic cover to protect it from the elements, uh, and it's also coated with uh, dielectric grease. Uh, which is something that you're going to want to maintain regular applications for and that protects it from moisture, especially salt water moisture. And so there are two USB charge ports there. You can plug in a phone, a GPS, a Bluetooth speaker, whatever you'd like, and that gives you power for your electronics and accessories when you're out on the water. And the last thing, on the side we have our quick stand. When the unit is in the boat, it'll actually be positioned about like this, 
and there's a little track that runs on the hull. When you want to clear weeds, if you want to beach the boat or avoid, uh, you know, obstruction in the water, all you have to do is raise this up with the front handle, and that kickstand is actually going to drop down into place and hold this unit up so that you can clear away weeds and beach the boat. And when you're ready to go, just push this back down with your hand or your foot and lower it into position and lock the console in and you're good to go. So the Predator XL Minn Kota console is $9.99. If you have any questions about this or the other consoles or the Predator XL itself, go online to www.predatorkayak.com.